Well, there's a lot of speculation about where the COVID-19 virus got its start and how it moved on to humans. Yeah, as we've seen with COVID-19, when a virus does make it to people, it can pose a uh, global threat rather quickly. And new at 11, CBS 17's Judith Ratana explains why Duke researchers are concerned after detecting a new coronavirus making the jump from dogs to people. It's very likely that these viruses are attempting to infect man around the world. While studying the causes of pneumonia, Duke researchers accidentally stumbled upon a new type of coronavirus in Malaysia. This time, it seems it may originate from dogs. This finding is remarkable in that it illustrates um, that there are threats out there that we're likely missing. Gray says if viruses are successful, they transfer from animals to humans. If they're really successful, they can move from human to human. SARS-1, MERS, H1N1, and COVID-19 are all suspected of starting in animals. Well, I think the chances of this causing a worldwide illness are very minuscule right now. That's partly because his team was able to detect it. Right now, any blood work done when you're sick isn't looking for new or unknown viruses. That makes it easier for viruses to spread under the radar. But we're just not really good at picking these up early. We kind of wait until they cause an epidemic, and then we figure out, oh, we got a new virus. To pick them up early, he suggests taking samples from people in places where viruses tend to emerge or in places where people are closely interacting with animals. We need to do a better job at conducting surveillance for them so that we can be ready to respond more uh, quickly. And to prevent another coronavirus pandemic. That was Judith Rattana reporting. Judith tells us this is the eighth time a coronavirus successfully made the leap from animals to humans. And Professor Gray assures us that we don't need to worry about our pets here in the U.S. passing a dangerous virus to us.